If you use an AR-15 for home defense, you need to practice with your trigger and your sights. The Mantis Blackbeard allows you to do that much more effectively. It's a drop-in bolt carrier group and magazine that works with your trigger and your sights in your rifle to give you real-time feedback and reset your trigger up to 10 times a second. I use it all the time to be more proficient as a carbine shooter and I recommend it highly. Hey guys, Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. This is Dry Fire Monday brought to you by Manus X and we're on active self-protection extra. Thanks for tuning in. Looks like we may be getting some weather in here. The wind's coming in, but as always, your video is really important. I wanna get this out to you guys. We're gonna talk about either preparatory index, as Scott Jolinski calls it, or set, as Brian Enos calls it. This is a really important training concept for you and you're gonna find big benefits on your draw analysis with your Manus X. The big idea behind it is that you stand utterly still as you're performing the task and only move the parts of your body that you need to. And if this stays the same all the time, what happens is a lot of times the gun's coming up, the head's coming down, so we're trying to catch the sights as they go past us and it makes it really hard. Uh, we know from neuroscience that the hardest thing in the world to do is to land an airplane on an aircraft carrier because the airplane's coming down, the aircraft carrier's going up and down. It takes incredibly complex skills. And that's what you tend to do when you draw. As you draw the gun, your head's coming down, the gun's coming up, and they miss each other sometimes, especially you guys that are living in the present with the RDS system. And it's a great system as long as you can learn to dwell in the place without any other movement. So let's talk about preparatory index or set point and how we're going to build it. The idea is to get into the perfect stance for you. Close your eyes, get yourself in a good position, make sure that you're still. Put your head up so you can use the foveal cone, which is the ability to see clearly through our eyes. There's an area of focus right here. If we drop our head, we don't see as well. So we wanna keep our head up where we can see, okay? We want our weight slightly forward, but we're sitting down in our stance. Now, when we go to draw, the only thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna move our arms, not our shoulders, not our neck, we're not gonna stick our rear end out. We're gonna turn our knees out. We're not gonna do any of that stuff. We're only gonna move what we need to, which makes it easier. Now, if you guys have noticed, this camera works a lot better than my usual tripod because my lovely wife is behind the camera today helping me out. And now I've made her giggle, so you're gonna get a little shimmy and a shake in there. It's <laughs> awesome. So let's watch how we draw. Here's what I would like you to do, and then I'll show you what I see a lot, okay? I get set here, I put myself in the perfect posture, I hold my head still, I put my hands in the position that I want them to be, and I simply move my arms and my body. Draw the gun. Let's make sure that it's safe and clear. Okay. Lovely camera woman, do you agree that this is a safe weapon now? Yes. All right. We're drawing towards a berm here, and it should be fantastically safe from this point on. So all I'm doing is moving my arms and the gun and it's bringing it right to my eye until I see that perfect dot each time, okay? Nothing else moves here as we do this. I just simply keep my body still. Now, as I say simply, I'm gonna tell you, that is not the easiest thing to do. People wanna move other things. What we see a lot of is shoulder comes up, body leans over, hand moves this way, draw the gun, body shifts back and head turns. And that makes it really hard to find the dot or find the front sight. So what I want you guys to do is find how little you can move. And the best way to do that is to just sit still and dwell in this spot, be nice and quiet. Don't move real fast right now. Exhale and watch. The greatest thing you can do is set up your own camera and watch later. So when I get done with this video, I'll watch and see what a good job I did. Or if I didn't do a good job and there's something else I need to do. I practice from multiple hand positions just moving the gun and seeing the sights. Being safe as I put it back up. Don't move anything else except your arms, all right? The rain has arrived, so we're gonna cut this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And this is gonna make a tremendous difference for you guys. I, I can't tell you how much I see this in class. This is probably the number one error that everything's really happening, that we're moving too much. You can simply do less instead of doing more. All right, this is Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. We're here at Active Self-Protection Extra and Manus Dry Fire Monday. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Here comes the rain. <laughs>